Namaste. And here we are again with a virtual yoga class. So I'm sitting here in Virasana, also sometimes known as Vajrasana. And you could try that. It's a nice way to wake up the legs. But some people will sit on a block. And I put it wide like this. And I sit right on it and have my feet on either side. If that still doesn't feel good, you could also have a big bolster just on top of your ankles and you sit on that bolster. If that still doesn't feel good, don't do it, okay? So you can sit any way you want to begin this class. Let's bring our palms together. Namaste Mudra, also known as Anjali Mudra, a handful of energy offered to heart space. Right now, more than ever, it is so important to really be functioning from heart space. We need to give everybody a little more grace in what we're doing in this world right now. So let's take an exhale. And on an inhale, reach up, stretch up. And again, inhale. to be with you here in this virtual environment. We're going to begin with two fingers down to the mat, down to the floor, down to the earth. This is a form of Bhumudra, B-H-U, the seed of earth, the very essence of earth, a wonderful way to connect, to calm, to relax the mind. In this pose, let yourself breathe fully and slowly into the belly, the chest, the sides of the chest. And with every exhale, slow it down through the nose. And we'll do that two more times. The inhales open, expand. Sense that self that's 360 degrees, and the exhales release. Your last time, try to make that exhale twice as long as the inhale. And then release that mudra, release that short pranayama. So we're going to begin with the double balls. So there are two tennis balls in an athletic sock. You could also use two racket balls. So see what feels good for you. And I'm going to come off of what I'm sitting on here. And the first place I'm going to take these balls is right here along the shin, okay? So you could use a block, but I actually go right to the mat like this, all fours, and I get those balls just below the knee and I start rolling. This feels so good, especially right now. It's a great time to go for hikes, to be out in nature, to be not contained inside if you can. So you can go back and forth like this and then you can stop at certain areas like Right here, I'm stopping into a spot that feels really tight and just breathing into it. And then the other thing to do is, if you can, take it right in front of the ankle, right in front of the ankle. So you could sit like this, where I have one leg like this, but I like to actually bring both my knees, and then I'm sitting onto those two balls and go back uh, side to side side to side, nice deep breaths here, working on the true ankle joint, which gets very compressed. And then from there, we'll take it to the other side. So find once again, and one side might feel tighter than the other. 
This is such a good um, area to release, this whole shin bone area. Nice deep breaths, maybe finding those spots. I just found one here, similar to the other side, where I'm just kind of moving in and out of it. It's kind of a trigger point concept. And then take it down right in front of the ankle, right in front of the ankle. You decide how you're gonna move into it. You can do it just small or go deeply with your body weight and breathe here. This feels so good for me. And then release that. And we'll put those balls aside. And then go ahead and bring yourself to all fours. Spread those fingers, knees apart. And let's take some cat cows. Those exhales round, those inhales reach. Really work on a full exhale every time you round, tucking the chin, and an inhale as you lengthen. And we'll take two more times here. Nice deep breaths, focusing on the tailbone each time, and then come back to neutral. So we're gonna pretend we're in a barrel or a peanut butter jar and start to take the whole torso and stir it. Move it as though you could rub along the insides of that barrel or that jar, trying to lift up the, the contents of your belly each time. Let your shoulder blades relax, other direction. Taking some nice, easy breaths here. and then come back to center. We're gonna take our hands, one hand's length forward, as wide as the mat, come up onto fingertips if you can, start to stretch through elbows, start to hollow out through armpits, reach the hips back, drop through the forehead, the tip of your nose. Nice deep breaths into the sides of the body. And then come back up to all fours. We're gonna curl toes under and on the exhale, lift to downward facing dog. And then on the inhale, come back down. And again, exhale, reach into this pose. Notice all the dynamics here. Exhale, back down. Remember you can keep, we're gonna do two more times. You can keep a micro bend through your knees if your spine wants a little more length. Notice what your hamstrings are doing, your tailbone, your sacrum, your shoulders. Here comes our last one. Reach into that pose, breathe into that pose, and then walk your dog, bending one knee, the other knee, let your head turn as it wants to. And then come back to the full pose. And we'll come all the way down to knees and take yourself to child pose of your choice. I recommend stacking one fist on top of the other and pressing <clears throat> that forehead on the upper fist. Shrug your shoulders and then breathe into this pose. So when we press into Ajna Chakra, that third eye space, the sixth chakra, they say it calms the nervous system, it calms the mind. And then start to activate through the deep belly and on an inhale, come up to knee stand. And on your exhale, bring your forehead your palms down, come, coming into that ease here on all fours. We're gonna take an exhale into sunbird, right arm, left leg, reach out here, breathe here. And on your next exhale, bend elbow and take knee and forehead towards elbow. Again, coming inward on the exhale, and outward on the inhale, tiger flow, two more times. Now, as you come into this last one, stay there, 
chin is tucked, and then reach back out. Reach into this pose, breathe into this pose. We're gonna take our arm out to the side, bend that knee, hold there breathing. I'm looking slightly forward, slightly down, little pulses here, little pulses of that bent knee. And then take your arm back, extend that leg, and come back to all fours. And we'll just kind of rock a little side to side. Coming back to center, other diagonal. Take that exhale, left arm, right leg, reach through this pose, breathe in this pose. So if you want to come deeper, left arm out, palm down, bend that knee, breathe here. Little pulses, little pulses, breath here, and then come back to the full pose and bring your hand down, your knee down, go ahead and a little gliding side to side, and once again, come down and find that ease of child pose. And then go ahead and bring yourselves up to sitting onto heels, if you can. Okay, see how that feels for you. <clears throat> From here, we're gonna inhale and come straight up, clasp, and on your exhale, bring your hips to one side, open the chest. Inhale, pull back up. Exhale, other side. And let's do that again, two more sets as you reach up. It's as though somebody's holding you by the wrists. Take that inhale, lift. The exhale glides. One more time. And then come back up, stretch up, and take your palms back. And here we are again at our cat cows. The exhales round, the inhales reach. The great integrator here, integrating upper and lower. Last time. All right, from here, we're gonna take our right leg out <clears throat> and come up onto knee and you've got your foot. So here we are, nice tall stand here. We're trying to stay as equal as possible. You could stay like this with your foot or turn the whole right leg up so the kneecap is facing the ceiling. Right arm out, palm up. Inhale, reach the left arm. And as you exhale, come over to the side, breathing. So my right foot, I'm spreading those toes and I'm pressing like a gas pedal. I'm trying to open the left chest. This is gate pose. Inhale, back up. And now we're gonna take it to the other side. Place your palm down, lift up the right arm. <clears throat> this is called half circle pose. If you wanna go deeper, you'll lift that right leg. And then if you wanna go deeper, every exhale, you close the gate. Every inhale, you open. You wanna make sure your right leg is really strong here. The only thing moving is your torso. And we have one more time. Lift up now, hold there. Bring that foot down, come back, and back to all fours. Take some cat cows again. <clears throat> so really finding that ease through the spine, through the hips. And then let's go to the other side. So go ahead and take out that left leg and come up nice and tall. So right here, you wanna to come to your hip tips in front here and pull them up, kind of like you're pulling up your pants so that your tailbone drops down. And then if you wanna turn your whole left leg out, go ahead, left palm is up, lift up the right arm, and on the exhale, come over, and let's come back up and stretch. And once again, come over and back up. And here's the last time. Stay there and breathe. Nice, easy breaths. I'm trying to open my right chest. I'm gas pedaling that left foot. 
and then come back up. Take the palm down, open up that left arm, and if you can, lift your left leg. You don't have to. Nice deep breaths here, and now let's go to the next level should you want to. Exhale, round in. Inhale, open. Again, exhale, round in. Inhale, open. Two more times. You want to feel that bit of rotation in the rib cage. Now this last time, hold there if you can. Breath. Come back up. Take your palms forward and down. Knee comes in. Three cat cows. Really feeling that energy moving through the body. When you get to this last one, we're going to curl toes under and on your exhale, bring yourself into downward facing dog. If your shoulders are tight, widen up your hands, spread your fingers. You could micro bend those knees, reach the sits bones up, broaden your chest. Breath here. And then bend both knees, walk your feet to the front, both hands on the knees, and on the inhale, come up to standing, palms face forward, nice full breaths here. And then take your palms together, take an exhale, and on an inhale, reach up so tall. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Next inhale, lift part way and stretch. Exhale, release here. And next inhale, lift up, open up, stretch up. And palms come back to heart. Take a moment just to feel this sense of balance, this sense of openness in the body because we're getting ready for dancer pose. Okay, so before we go any further, we're gonna widen up our hips, we're gonna soften through hips and knees and ankles, and then start to take your big circles here. Nice full circles. And then other direction. Try to see if you can feel that whole kind of 360 degree motion that can happen through the hip sockets with the pelvis. And then come back to center, standing nice and tall. Nice and tall, nice deep breaths here. So now to set up for dancer, one of the first things I do, and I'm gonna turn sideways, is I decide if I'm holding my outer ankle or if I'm holding my inner ankle. So I hold my inner ankle to work more on my chest opening as well. Once I get to there, as you can see my knee, I need to try to get the knee to drop down to be about equal with the other leg, and that's what gives me the back bend. From there, reach up with the other hand. So this is truly your dancer pose, not a rush, but if you wanna start going deeper, you press the foot into the hand, you reach out, you breathe here, try to keep the right hip dropping down a little bit, breath here, looking forward always, always looking forward, and then come out, stand nice and tall, breath here, And then we're going to go to the other side and I'm going to turn to face uh, the video, the camera, so you can see it from the front. So I'm going to, once again, I get hold of the inner ankle, but that's because my chest is more open these days. And then I try to drop that knee down. So it's about equal to the other knee. I'm toning into the belly as I reach up. Hold there. This is really the best part of the pose right here. You could also have a wall in front of you that you're going to touch in a moment. And then push the foot into the hand. Keep reaching, keep reaching in both directions. Breath here, breath here. Gazing where you want to go. <laughs> Try to drop that left hip a little more. I'm talking to myself. And then come 
back up, bring that foot down, hands to heart. Couple of breaths, such an amazing pose to open the chest, to open the heart, to get rid of that lethargy and stagnation. We're gonna open our feet a little more, bend through both knees, one hand to each knee, as you exhale, round in, and as you inhale, open. So these are standing cat cows. Do three to five of these, really feeling chest and spine. And then come back up. Once again, standing, even balance. All right, from here, at the fronts of the mats, feet apart, feet are under these hip tips, okay? We're gonna put hands on our hips and we're gonna take our right foot back, okay? So if you notice me, I'm taking it back enough that I can keep these hip centers facing forward, this front knee bent. Some people, this feels really hard to do on that back leg. If that's the case, step a little more forward and then put the foot flat down at an angle, okay? So this could be considered a high lunge. We're preparing for Virabhadra one, okay? Warrior one. So once I get this stand, I start to reach up, lengthen up, hold there and breathe. Nice deep breaths, that back leg is so strong. Open the chest. and then take the arms down and step back forward. Couple of nice deep breaths here. And let's go to the other side. So for the other side, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see it from this side, okay? So I'm gonna take this left foot back and I'm gonna have my toes curled under and I'm reaching the heel behind me, okay? Very powerful pose here, just the lower body. The other option is to step slightly forward, but make sure those hips are facing forward, back heel down. So you decide, here I am at this pose, I'm dropping tailbone, I'm lifting up through the front of the body and breathing. Try to open that chest here. And then take the arms down and forward and stand with your palms together. From here, and I'm gonna stay in this position wide. I will come to the other direction in a moment. I'm gonna turn my feet slightly out. I've widened up my legs. I'm gonna to start to take my hips back and down, keep the knees tracking over those feet. So here is a nice position to be where you've got your hips coming back like you're gonna find a chair. Or if you wanna come deeper, elbows come into inner knees and lift that chest and breathe here. Even deeper, arms out. And even more, which is challenging to me, is to try to get the arms overhead. And then break, take hands to knees and come back up. Palms face forward. From here, we're gonna turn our toes slightly in. My legs are quite wide. I've got my hands firmly on my hips with my thumbs on my sacrum. And I'm gonna to start to reach back. Right here, you might need to bend your knees a little bit. Breath here, deep toning going on in the abdominal area, reaching when I can't go any further. I'm gonna take my hands down, plant them onto the mat or floor, elbows back, elbows bent, and then see if you can come down even deeper. You could use a block as well, breath here, and then come part way up and stretch up. And from here, work your hands forward, and I'll come back a little so you can see in the camera, and plant those palms as wide as shoulders, 
and then reach back and up into wide leg downward dog. Finally, start to walk your hands back in. If you're able to, take your arms behind you and drop in deeper. Coming back forward, we're going to turn the left foot slightly out and drop in towards it. It's a side lunge. So you can see I'm just holding this pose here, breathing. My other foot is anchored down. You could also take this shoulder in deeper and come under. And if you're able to, reach back and take a bind. But I like to just stay here like this. Nice deep breaths here. And then staying really low, go to the other side. You want to anchor through that left foot now. You want to keep working the hips back and down. Working to get your right shoulder into that right knee. If you get all those parameters, you can certainly take the bind. And then come back to center. Hands on the hips. And on the inhale, all the way back up. Breathing here. Maybe walk the feet in or take a little jump. And palms come together. Take an exhale. And on an inhale, reach so high. And as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come part way up and stretch that body. And then as you exhale, come down deeply. And we're going to take another inhale and reach right back up, stretching up hands to heart. All right, one more pose here standing. You can use a block if you want, or you don't have to. I've got the block between the thighs. Okay, the best blocks I like are four inches here so that you have a bit more width. My toes are spread. I'm standing nice and tall here. If you feel like you need to turn your feet slightly out, please do so you do not hurt your knees. On the inhale, lift. And as you exhale, come down to chair pose. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, keep the chest lifted, looking forward. One more time, inhale up. And as you exhale, come to that deep pose. Hold there, palms face each other, shoulders back. Breath here. If you want to come a little deeper, come up a bit. And then open up the chest. Utkatasana, fierce pose. And come all the way up tall and hands down. Nice deep breaths. And then we'll remove that block and bring yourself to sitting onto the mat. So remember, that can be so many things. For me, I'm trying not to plunk down. I cross my legs right about here. I want to plunk, but I pull my belly in and sit down. It's something to be working on. You can work with a chair at first to find that pose. And we'll take our legs out in front of us, releasing little bits here, nice deep breaths. And then find your strap, or you could use your hands. I'm gonna fold in my left leg, any back issues. You wanna keep the foot equal to the knee joint. Otherwise, you can take it further up. Go ahead and pull the skin out from your butt muscles back. Sitting up nice and tall, you could bend this knee if you need to. Strap around that foot. So I'm starting by being upright, really nice and tall. My elbow, point, my elbow, inside elbow joints are facing up, shoulders back. Nice deep breaths here. This feels so good to apply some pressure here with the foot, working with the ankle, the toes. And then if you want to go deeper, you can choke in a bit on the strap and reach 
So I'm not even rounding my spine. I'm not doing nice deep breaths here. If you want to go deeper, you could go in deeper. And final couple breaths, drop down, let your head drop. Nice deep breaths here. And come all the way back up and stretch up and release. From here, we'll take the counter pose to it where we take the left palm down, come up onto that left knee and open up into that half circle pose. You could stay there or you could lift that leg and then come back down. Once down, we'll take both legs out, releasing so easily and let's go to the other side. Okay, so find where you need to be. We don't want to be rolled back on our pelvis. If you are, sit up on a blanket. Okay, once again, the strap. I like to use straps because it really helps my shoulders. So I'm pulling to lift my spine and reach my chest forward. I've got my elbows bent. Breathing here, nice deep breaths. And then if you want to go deeper, take a straight spine forward. So it's almost like nose to your toes. And then if you want to go deeper, you could go even deeper. You could even last couple breaths, drop down, forehead towards your knee, breathing here. Come all the way back up. Use that strap to really find that nice straight spine and then release. We're going to take the right palm down and then on an inhale, come up into half circle pose. Breath here. If you want to lift that leg, go ahead and release down. Once down, we'll take those legs out, release those knees. That feels so good. Shoulders. And then let's take a um, windshield wiper. So feet are nice and wide. I like to take mine right off the mat, lean back with a straight spine, and check in with those hips. We've done some really interesting combinations of master yoga poses, as well as different therapeutic movements, and then come back to center and go ahead and find your boat pose. I'm going to start with hands behind knees, shoulders back, elbows tucked, come up onto tiptoes. You could stay there or lift. You could stay there or take the arms, reach up, lift your heart, breathe here. and release. We're going to take our right heel in, extend out through the left leg, spread those toes, very strong, active leg. As you turn to your right, hug your elbow into your knee, or some people use the hand. Some people take their arm to the outside. See what feels good for you. I like to take the inhale and lift up tall through the torso and exhale and rotate. So you can keep your head neutral or you can turn it as you want. Use your breath as you roll your right chest open. And come all the way back out. Take your hand under the foot, the right foot or at the ankle. Try to keep your thigh right at your chest and lift just the lower leg. Stay there breathing. I'm trying to crawl my spine taller. And then maybe little increments here, trying to straighten that knee without taking the thigh off the chest. Gaze up. Maybe lift your elbows. And come all the way back down. Releasing knees, shoulders, hips. We'll take one reverse plank or table pose. I'm going to do the reverse plank. Fingers out to the side, shoulders back, legs together. Inhale, lift. Hold there and breathe. 
Work on reaching your throat to the ceiling, opening that heart. And come back down. And we'll take the left foot in, nice and strong. Activate your right leg. Sit up as tall as you can. Start to find your rotation to your left. I use my, my left fingers here pushing down into the mat in order to open my chest more. Nice deep breaths here. Doing yoga here for our purification, our cleansing. And come all the way back around. Get a hold of under the foot or the ankle. You're, take, you're taking that thigh right to the chest. Keep it there as you lift the lower leg. So right here, roll your shoulders back. Lift up taller. Can you stay there or maybe do little increments here? Must breathe. Lift the elbows. And release. Easy here, just easy with knees and ankles, neck shoulders and it's time to bring ourselves all the way down to the mat so i'm going to hang on to knees and round myself down once down hands on belly knees are bent feet are apart on the mat relax down to your sacrum your hips your spine your shoulders and take three deep breaths here slowly Filling the body and releasing each time. The inhale, spill. The exhales, release. Last time. And then go ahead and bring both knees in towards the sides of the chest. Hang on to upper knee or behind the knee and let those shoulders pull down. Chin is lightly tucked. If you want to go deeper, hands to ankles or maybe to toes or side edges of feet. And keep dropping. Drop down through the sits bones. Drop down through the shoulders, drop and tuck that chin. Maybe straighten the knees. And then letting go and bicycle. So bicycling really big with arms and legs, so good for the nervous system here. Reintegrating everything once again as we get ready now for final relaxation. This will be just a very short one on this video. You're welcome to do a longer one if you want. If your low back is bothering you, please put a roll under your knees. Go ahead and move the skin away from the sacrum side to side to drop those hips. Broaden out the shoulder blades. Relax through the backs of the shoulders. Arms away from the body. Palms up. Let your legs relax. If your neck is bothering you at all, please turn your head side to side very quietly. Back to center and breath. Breathing in, I breathe in. And breathing out, I breathe out. Breathing in, I breathe in. And breathing out, I breathe out. Coming back into these amazing bodies. Start to stretch a little, move a little, reach a little, lengthen a little. 
Notice all those nuances in this body that is made up of energy, prana, life force, chi. And as you're ready, go ahead and roll to your right side into fetal position. As a place of transition, take a breath here. And on your exhale, come up as easily as possible. You can come to a cross-legged position or up onto a block. See what feels good here. Taking palms together. Anjali Mudra, a handful of energy offered to heart center. Namaste.